Now this one, baby, this one is a big one, like a big, 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 big one. Okay, if you want to like, you know, not procrastination now. If you don't make time to do it, if you just spend time talking, 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 talking about it, and never make time to do it, it's not gonna get done. That's the biggest problem a lot of people have. I don't always feel like doing it, but. I got my shot of caffeine. That's another thing I noticed, y'all. I'm telling you, I used to struggle. You could do anything that you set your mind to. Hey friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. If you are new to my channel, come here. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you to my amazing supporters. Thank y'all so much for all of your amazing, amazing support. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and thank you. Today is Tuesday. This Tuesday, y'all, January 17th. It's currently 9.57 p.m., y'all. I had a long day. I literally got ready, honestly, like nine hours ago, maybe like eight hours ago, and I've just, you know, your girl been getting stuff done, and obviously that's why I'm here with this video is to help y'all get stuff done. Like, I've really been in my zone. I've really been like getting back into motion of just handling my business and getting stuff done, and I really wanted to help y'all to do the same thing. So as y'all could tell, this is a get ready with me video. I'ma roll the clip towards the end, y'all already know, but I'ma talk to y'all about procrastination, okay? Okay, about procrastinating if you are someone that struggles with procrastination I honestly used to struggle with this especially like uh, freshman year of high school I feel like I got better at it like junior year senior year of high school but if you are someone that like struggles with procrastination with getting stuff done you know you're supposed to get it done but you still sit on the couch be on your phone be on insta like if you post commenting kiki and on tiktok scrolling on tiktok for hours when you know baby you know you're supposed to be getting your work done you're supposed to be handling your business but you're just distracted and you just struggle with procrastination this video is literally perfect for you because i'm about to help you and teach you like how i overcame procrastination so i'm gonna share with y'all pretty much seven steps i would say i might narrow it down to less but it'll be seven like super simple super easy quick and easy steps to help you overcome procrastination okay i know this is something that a lot of of people struggle with and I really will want to help y'all to overcome it so the first step I would say into overcoming procrastination is making a decision to and then sticking to it okay so just like if you on a weight loss journey just like if you on your YouTube grind or whatever goal you're trying to pursue or something you're trying to overcome first you make the decision and then you stick to it you are not always gonna feel like not procrastinating because procrastination is very very tempting like especially when you in the house you sitting on the couch Couch, it's warm it's comfortable especially if you just ate a nice meal and you know you gotta do something after but now you got the itis the couch is comfortable and all that and you just don't feel like getting up but in spite of you not feeling like doing it you still have to do it so make the decision to say you know what I'm gonna work on y'all know it's 2023 yeah the year will come back <laughs> anyways y'all just make sure like for this year like make it a goal make it a priority to just be better and to overcome the things that y'all struggle with so make a decision to overcome procrastination and just stick to it and I'm gonna teach y'all how second is realizing like how you procrastinate so everybody procrastinate differently okay some people procrastinate because they interact with other people they get distracted they start talking to their friends like if y'all are like me like I've been at work I used to work in an office and you know I know like okay it's 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 Friday payroll's supposed to get done but it's like the task is so overwhelming we dreading it so me and my co-workers we be in each other's cubes like just talking chopping it up kicking and laughing so you know some people procrastinate more when other people are around them so if that's how you procrastinate then discipline yourself tell your friends tell the people that are around you hey y'all know i like to talk i like to have a good time but i gotta go get some work done 
I'll be back. Some people, they procrastinate by being on their phones, like I was saying. So if you're like me, y'all, one of my biggest distractions used to be my phone, okay? It used to be my phone. I love being on my phone. If you know me, like one of my cousins, <laughs> used to make fun of me because I literally like when I was in high school I used to sleep with my phone like in the bed like literally next to me in the bed this was before like that was an actual thing but I, I'm like attached to my phone okay it's the one thing sometimes that just makes me feel like I'm not alone and then I was reading somewhere I was either reading or doing some sort of personal development and one person was saying like turn off like some of your notifications on certain apps so for example like on Twitter my Twitter notifications are off because Twitter baby you could not tweet not do nothing for a minute and they just be nagging you like nobody tweeted you nobody at you and they tweeting you they notifying you that somebody posted something like baby I don't want to know that you know what I'm saying so what I've come to do is like put my phone on silent throughout majority of the day because my phone like I said is my biggest distraction like I could be in the middle of doing something and y'all cause y'all see it in my YouTube videos like the times when I do forget to put my phone on silent like I end up picking it back up and I mean the times when I do forget to put my phone on silent and I'm filming a YouTube video y'all be hearing me say oh my phone's ringing my phone's this my phone's that like I get distracted easily especially by my phone so my biggest thing nowadays is like my phone is on do not disturb majority of the time because that's the only way that I get to like focus and just handle my business so again realize how you procrastinate what are the things that triggers you to procrastinate that causes you to procrastinate and take care of them because once you do it will make it easier for you to get stuff done like for example, even in the mornings when I get up, I have a to-do list that I update every single day. Like I told y'all, y'all could feel free to get a to-do list if y'all choose. But if you're not a to-do list type of person, when you first get up in the morning, think about the things you got to do. So what I do before I jump on social media and all that, sometimes like I could go two, three hours without getting right on social media right away because I focus on my to-do list. I remind myself like, girl, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. So I try to not even wake up distracted. I try to not even wake up procrastinating. Y'all feel me? Now this one, baby, this one is a big one, like a big, 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 big one, okay? This is number three, like this is like key. If you wanna like, you know, not procrastination now, beat it down, kick it out the door, all that, this is like a key, 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 key thing. So make time to do what you said you are going to do, okay? If you have a job, which majority of people probably do, right? They tell you to be there from nine o'clock to five o'clock for a reason because they they are teaching you to make time for your job okay so just the same way you get up you make time for your job right some people go in seven to three some people go in eight to four nine to five three to eleven like there's all types of shifts you know what i'm trying to say there's the graveyard shift all of that what is a job teaching you make time for what you agree to do so you agree to work a job you make time for it just the same thing, whether it's working out, whether it's being a YouTuber, whether it's being an entrepreneur, whether it's being a businessman, a businesswoman, whatever it is, y'all, make time to do whatever it is that you gotta do. If you don't make time to do it, if you just spend time talking, 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 talking about it and never make time to do it, it's not gonna get done. That's the biggest problem a lot of people have. Like, I've talked to people and they're like, man, it's 2023, we about to hit the gym, we about to lose some weight. Wait, we about to look snatched. We about to look good. Like, you know, and they're like, okay, and it's like, okay, what about it? When you when you going to the gym, what time you gonna be going to the gym? Is it every day? Is it once a week? Is it once a month? Like, you know what I'm trying to say? You gotta make time to do whatever it is that you say you're gonna do. If you don't make time to do it, it's never going to get done. Whether it's reading a book, like some people's into reading books, whether it's into watching more TV or having more downtime, whatever it is, you have to make time for it. Cause if you don't make time for it, it's not gonna get done. Point blank, period. Period. okay analyze your schedule like that again like I said it's something that I used to struggle with like I used to be like okay I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do this 
And then eventually one day I'm like, okay, when, sis? Like, when? Like, you have to make time to do whatever it is that you gotta do. Prioritize your, prioritize your goals, prioritize your dreams. Even with my YouTube channel, I didn't start out like being consistent like I am now, but how I stay consistent is I consistently make time to create content, to film, to edit, to upload, to create thumbnails, to watch YouTube tutorials on how to make better videos, on how to grow my channel. Like make time to do everything that you say you're going to do, to go after your dreams, to go after your goals. Don't just make time for your nine to five, for your jobs. You get what I'm trying to say? Make time for yourself as well. Make time for whatever goals, whatever aspirations you have. And I promise y'all, it don't even gotta be a lot of time you could start out with 15 minutes a day like let's say you want to get into reading more books start out reading 15 minutes a day if you start off like okay you want to get your health under control you want to exercise better like you want to create a healthier lifestyle you could start just going on a 10 minute walk a day on your lunch break start small and all those efforts will eventually compound y'all feel me so in addition to that do whatever it takes to get the task done. Now, don't get it twisted. Although I make time to do exactly what I need to do, I don't always feel like doing it. But think about celebrities. Think about people that are successful. Think about influencers like celebrities, superstars, like movie stars. Those people, some of them, they be having to drink Red Bull to get amped up, to get turned up, to put themselves in the mood, to put themselves in the zone, to do whatever it is that they have to do. So it's the same thing when it comes to your goals, when it comes to your dreams, when it comes to anything that you're trying to achieve. I promise you, I'm not always on 10. I'm not always in the best mood. Some days I gotta take a shot of caffeine. Some days I gotta take B12. Some days I gotta like, like amp myself up like sometimes I get on business calls and even then like I used to see this successful like businesswoman that I look up to she would like her and Tony Robbins if I'm not mistaken before like they go on stage they have like a trampoline they jump up and down on that trampoline I know this other celebrity Spice like she's a musician if you know you know her like she stretch she get herself amped up before she go on stage to perform so do whatever it takes to get yourself in the mood to get yourself in the zone I promise you not always gonna feel like it but if you you do whatever it takes to prepare yourself to make the time to do what you got to do you will co continuously get things done the next thing which is number four I would say is get up early now I'm not saying you got to get up at five o'clock six o'clock I don't even like getting up at that time like the earliest I would say I probably get up in all honesty is 7 45 8 a.m. the earliest like that is the earliest you're gonna get from me like unless I have a, an appointment or something that can't be done like at a later time other than that you not catching me up early unless maybe I got to catch a flight or something like that I'm not getting up no earlier than that okay but on a reasonable like scale nine o'clock ten o'clock is cool depending on your lifestyle depending on your schedule depending on just your lifestyle overall you get what i'm trying to say everybody might not have the luxury to get up 9 a.m 10 a.m but i promise you test it out if you don't believe me the days you get up earlier you tend to get more done like you really really do in a shorter period of time unless you're like me so some days i get up a little bit later than I should I think that's what I did today and that's why I'm filming a video at 10 10 at night because I started my day later so everything else got pushed a little bit later but that aside get up earlier and again you're not always going to feel like it like the mornings that I know okay like my energy is going to be low I'm going to be dragging along I'm going to be moving slow I got my shot of caffeine on deck. Like, I'm already ready. You got to have an energy drink, a Red Bull, some Coca-Cola, like something with caffeine in it just to get you going, just to get you moving. Like, I know one of my friends was telling me, for example, like when he's working out, one of the things he do because he likes to work out early in the morning, he keeps his running shoes next to his bed and his workout clothes already picked out next to his bed. So boom, as soon as he get up in the morning, he put them on, go brush his teeth, and then straight to working out. You get what I'm trying to say? So do whatever it takes to get the task done and get up 
early. Number five, do it even when you don't feel like it. Like trust and believe. Nothing, it, nothing successful is built off of feelings and emotions. And that's something that I'm still learning. Like I wouldn't say I've perfected it, but it's definitely something that I am still learning, y'all. Like nothing is built off of feelings and emotions. Anything successful is built on principles. Like that is the foundation of it. And the principle is do it even when you don't feel like it even after the excitement is gone, even after the enthusiasm is gone, even when nobody is praising you, clapping for you, commending you, like still keep going, like trust and believe. It's not every single, like I don't think every single YouTube video of mine like gets commented on. I would say 90% of them do, but there's 10% that probably don't get any comments at all. But I don't let that hinder me. You get what I'm trying to say? I don't do it necessarily for the comments. Like it's bigger than just the comments. It's bigger than what people is going to say. You get what I'm trying to say? So you have to learn to just do it even when you don't feel like it. And you're not always going to feel like it, but you have to manage your emotions, discipline yourself and build success off of discipline off of principle okay and one principle is discipline and discipline is the ability to do something even when times are not favorable even when you do not feel like it so don't do things off of emotions any goal you're trying to accomplish you cannot accomplish it just off of the feeling just off of the emotion because it's not always going to be there I don't always feel like getting on camera and doing videos I just don't I don't always feel like interacting and talking to people and being I don't always feel like it but I know my end result I know what my goal is and I know what I want to achieve even working out like as of late I don't always feel like working out but I do my very best and I told y'all this in one of my other videos like some days you'll only be able to show up and give 80 percent okay some days you'll only be able to show up and give 120 percent the days you could show up and give 120 percent do it because the days that you only could give 80%, that 20% on the day that you was able to give it all you got, baby, it's going to make up on the day that for that 80% that you're lacking, your 20%. You feel me? So learn to just do things even when you don't feel like it. Number six, this is a big one. This is one that I had to like work on with myself, y'all. Reward yourself, okay? Reward yourself for getting something done, especially on the days that you don't feel like it. On the days you feel like it, it's cool. The reward is like, I did it. That's the most rewarding part. You get what I'm trying to say? But on the days that you don't feel like it, learn to reward yourself. If you get up and you go to the gym on a day that you really did not feel like it, because that's another thing I notice, y'all. Sometimes the days you don't feel like it, you get the best results. Like literally, like I know some days that I did not feel like working out and I still push myself to get it done. And that was like the best workout that I ever had. Some days that I don't feel like dropping videos and I drop them, I get the best feedbacks ever where people are like, I love you. You're so motivating. You're so inspiring. And I'm like, yes, baby. Imagine if I went by how I felt. You get what I'm trying to say? So on the days, especially if you do something that you don't really feel like doing it, you're pushing yourself to get away from procrastinating, falling into the trap of procrastinating. Like yesterday was a great day for me. I was so productive. I was not on my phone as much as I wanted to be, as much as it was tempting to be. And it was just amazing, you know, but you got to reward yourself and you could choose how to reward yourself. My reward sometimes is food, y'all. Like, as of late, I ain't gonna lie, I've been really addicted to these like uh, macadamia cookies and I would like go bake some cookies. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. I would bake some cookies and I think the other day like on Sunday, yeah. Sunday was, yep, I had eight macadamia cookies. It was really bad, seven to be exact. But reward yourself on the days that you do stuff that you really don't feel like it. And you could choose what your reward is gonna be because I feel like that's just gonna motivate you to do it on the days that you don't feel like it because you know, okay, I'm gonna get a reward for this. Like some people reward is like a cheat day, for example. And some people, their cheat days, they pig out. And I don't blame them because it's like, 
yo, like I went through the whole week being disciplined, pushing away plates, saying no to stuff I didn't wanna say no to. Of course I'm gonna pick out the day that I do actually get to cheat and eat, you know, whatever kind of food that I want. So number seven, which is the last, last, last step to help you to overcome procrastinating is remember why you are doing what you are doing and focus on that. Now, the reason why I used to get trapped in procrastinating for a long time, because I always focused on how dreadful the task was, how daunting the task is, how overwhelming the task is probably gonna be. I created this scenario around the task that made me delay in doing it. But if you focus on the fact that, for example, like how I think about it, like, Nowadays, it's like, if I get it done, it's gonna be done. I don't gotta think about it. I don't gotta make time for it again. Like, it's done. You get what I'm trying to say? So that's how you should look at it too. Why do I need to do this test? Why am I doing this test? Why do I need to get this done? For example, if you wanna live a healthier lifestyle, that's why you need to get in the gym even when you don't feel like it. If you want to grow and be a successful influencer and be a successful entrepreneur, that's why you gotta put out content even when you don't feel like putting out content. You feel me? Like whatever the scenario might be, if you're in school maybe and you're trying to graduate or whatever it might be, why are you in school to have a good career, to have financial stability, to get out of the neighborhood that you live in, to maybe help your family get in a better position, focus on that, especially when times are difficult, especially when times are challenging, especially when things aren't going exactly how you want them to go, focus on that. That will prevent you from procrastinating. A lot of people tend to procrastinate again because they focus on how overwhelming the task might be, they focus on how difficult the task might be or how frustrating, but you gotta learn to push through that difficulty, push through that feeling of overwhelmingness, like on the negative effects of like the task that you are trying to do and just stay focused on the positive reasons why you have to get this task done, like working out. I love working out because I be feeling amazing when I'm done working out. I be feeling good. I be feeling energized. I be feeling recharged. Like I feel a burst of energy when I work out. When I get on camera, for example, like I like this is my happy place. Like it literally is. I feel good. I feel accomplished. I feel one step closer to my goal every time I film a video. Every time I drop a video, like I feel one step closer to my goal. And I focus on that instead of focusing on the other like okay, editing for example is not my favorite thing to do. Okay? Like it's just not. I currently have three unedited videos that I need to edit, but I don't focus on how overwhelming editing can be, how long, how time consuming editing can be. I try my hardest not to focus on that. Sometimes I do dwell on it and like I said, I ain't gonna lie, I slip back and be on my phone, scrolling on Insta, see who posted the latest pic, get on the shade room and see, okay, what's the new tea? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do do that, but for the most part, once I stop focusing on how overwhelming the task might be, I can pull myself back and be like, okay, buy Insta, buy Shade Room, buy social media, buy phone, like no distractions, no procrastination. You get what I'm trying to say? So I really hope this video helps whoever is watching this, y'all. I'm telling you, I used to struggle with procrastination. Like I used to struggle with it so much, but now I have grown to become an executor. I've grown to just work, handle my business, get stuff done. Like I always used to wonder like, why do people call on me for help? Why do people always want me to be involved in this team or this group or whatever movement they got going on? But then I realized like, I am blessed with a strength of just getting stuff done, of just handling my business. Like when I get in the room, it's like, baby, we locked in, what are we doing? What's the task at hand? We could kick it after, we could chill, we could vibe, we could have fun after. But this one hour that we set aside to handle our business, let's lock in, get it done, 
and then we could have all the fun that we want to have after you get what i'm trying to say so i love executing i love getting done what i need to get done it's not always fun it's not always an easy task but these steps are really simple steps they're quick I would say they're easy if you follow them. So I'm gonna just do a quick recap. The first one, make a decision and stick to it, okay? Second, realize how you procrastinate. I told y'all my way of procrastinating used to be being on my phone. If I had, when I had a job, it was me like talking to my coworkers when I had no business talking to them. But number three is make time to do what you said and do whatever it takes to get it done. Okay, number four is get up early. Number five, do it even when you don't feel like it. And number six, reward yourself, of course, even after you've done whatever it is that you're supposed to do. And most importantly, number seven, remember why and just focus on it. Lock in on that. Focus on the bigger picture. Focus on the prize. Focus on the goal at hand and you will be more likely to get your task done done so that is all i have for y'all comment below like if you are someone that struggle with procrastination some suggestions that maybe you could share with my supporters just let them know like okay this is what you do to struggle i mean to overcome procrastination maybe you are struggling with procrastination you could feel free to be more specific in the comments about how you struggle with procrastination if i can help in any additional extra way i will be more than happy to but that is pretty much all i have for y'all i love y'all i appreciate y'all don't forget to subscribe to my channel now i'm gonna roll the clip of me getting ready then i'm gonna show y'all my outfit and then this video is gonna be a wrap i got one more video to shoot tonight y'all pray for me please okay <laughs> i told y'all like i'm getting it done i'm not playing this year like i'm really not playing this year like i'm dead trying to make a major comeback especially with my youtube channel okay i've accomplished one milestone so far and feel like i've made a comeback i need to do one more and then yeah even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 hustle out hustle every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried in my grave to the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low You can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go but even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why I say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst stuff saying Turn them to a game Take the best stuff saying Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start the pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explode Everything that you you can never do before uh. And even when you feel low You can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never Alright y'all So I hope y'all enjoyed that clip of me getting ready Now I'm about to show y'all my outfit Let me put my glasses on Because sometimes I forget that I cannot see But y'all can see my hair Of course is done Got this curly ponytail Y'all I loved how like my baby hair came out This um like on the side It came out so good y'all Got my lashes on Did my brows of course And look combo always go crazy and now i'm gonna show y'all the real fit but i gotta clean my glasses off 
first. Uh, okay, it got dirty because I was cooking super late, but let me show y'all my outfit. Ow, look it. I look so cute today. This is my outfit, y'all. I was in the house majority of the time. I did get out for a little bit, like 30, 45 minutes, and then I was back in the house. So I literally just threw on some Uggs to go with these. But that aside, I got um, these gray socks on with these pants or whatever. These cute little bell-bottom pants, this shirt. Because, again, just wanted to give, like, classy but casual vibes at the same time. I love this shirt. This is literally, like, one of my favorite shirts. I ain't gonna lie. This necklace, I actually got it from Florida. Not the last time I was there, but last year when I was there. And it says Florida in it. It has this, like rhinestones and whatever and I actually ended up going with rose gold jewelry because this little basket thingy on my shirt it has like rose gold like things things on it so I figured it would make sense to pair it with like this bracelet my necklace of course these little bangles these were originally gold and then they rusted so now they're rose gold y'all okay and then my earrings oops can y'all see that Yes, my earrings. Yeah, y'all can see it. But that's pretty much it, y'all. That's my outfit. What about it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put y'all back on here. Put y'all back on her. But that's all I have for y'all. You could do anything that you set your mind to. If you set your mind to overcoming procrastination, if you work at it, if you be disciplined, you will be able to overcome it. I'm working on dropping like a product that will help you to overcome this stuff. So I have to just take time, put it together, figure out how to like market and all that, just to kind of help y'all like better overcome procrastination okay so thank you so much for watching don't give up on your goals don't give up on your dreams stay focused stay motivated stay inspired stay locked in and if you know anybody that struggles with procrastination and it's not an overnight process y'all i promise you're not gonna overcome it overnight but it takes time. Every mountain that was climbed, every mountain that was hiked and conquered, it started with one step. And you can only take one step at a time. So don't feel like you're going to get over procrastination just like this overnight. No, you got to work at it. It's going to take time. You might not get it the first time. You might not get it the second time. You might not get it the third time. But don't give up. Keep working towards it. Keep pushing. Keep pressing. And eventually you will conquer it. So that is all I have for y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. And most importantly, don't forget to share this video with anyone that you feel like can be of benefit to this video. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Bye.